Hey you guys, welcome back to another video of the Game Factor. In this video, we'll be talking about a rumor of a possible partnership between PlayStation and Netflix to compete with Xbox Game Pass and Psychonauts 2 performing better on Xbox Series S compared to PS5 and Flight Simulator new controls and peripherals. So be sure to stick to the end of this video and be sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content. And with that out of the way, let's jump right into it. The report that Netflix is looking to enter the gaming has been proven right as the streaming company shared more details in its financial report for the second quarter. Initially, Netflix will be focusing on developing games for mobile phones and the games will be included in the Netflix subscription at no additional cost. This opens up a lot of possibilities for Netflix as they might further expand to producing huge AAA titles and compete with Xbox Game Pass and other game streaming services. As Netflix is known for producing a large chunk of content for their streaming platform, I always said that cloud gaming is the future and looks like we are heading towards it. There is even a chance that Netflix might partner up with Sony to compete with Xbox Game Pass in the future. It has been a long time and PlayStation still doesn't have an answer to Xbox Game Pass service and since Netflix and Sony have already signed for a movie deal together, they might take this partnership to a whole other level where we might see PlayStation and Netflix teaming up to creating something like Xbox Game Pass. PlayStation has always sold more consoles than Xbox but where they lacked was in the services and Xbox has killed it in providing amazing services to their customers and if this partnership happens and Netflix starts making exclusive games and PlayStation also starts adding their exclusive games uh, to the Netflix and PlayStation platform this might create a huge threat for Xbox Game Pass and other game streaming services. What do you guys think about this? Will Sony and Netflix team up to take the fight to Xbox Game Pass? Do let me know down in the comment section. Moving on to the next news. Xbox Series S will be outperforming the PS5 and running Psychonauts 2 as the PlayStation version will be running the game at a 1440p 60fps and Xbox Series S will be running the game at a 1620p 60fps and 1080p 120fps in the performance mode. Now there is a very specific reason for this. Apparently Double Fine, the makers of Psychonauts 2 will not be officially releasing the game on the PlayStation 5. The game will be officially be released on the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 will be running the backward compatible version of Psychonauts 2. Running the game at 1440p 60 FPS is still very impressive for PlayStation 5. For PlayStation 5 considering that it is running the backward compatible version of the game. So I think gamers on both sides will be having fun enjoying the strippy ride in the world of Psychonauts 2. What do you guys think about this? Do you think that Double Fine should have also released the PlayStation 5 version? Do let me know down in the comment section. Will you be playing Psychonauts 2 or will you be skipping it? I wanna know down in the comment sections. Moving on to some more news. With Flight Simulator coming to Xbox Series X and S next week, Microsoft is announcing new third-party peripherals that will put the experience over the top. Flight Simulator will be launching on Xbox Series X and S on July 27th. Now, aeronautical engineers and pilots have designed Total Beach Velocity 1 Flight, which is the new flight control system for Xbox Series X and S and Windows. It has a 180 degree York handle with built in rubber controls, a modular throttle quadrant with an integrated trim wheel, and custom lever, a flight management display, and a status indicator panel with real time alerts and flight details. The price is very hefty for this piece of hardware as it will cost around $350. But then again, it will make your flight experience more immersive and provide you with the feeling of actually being a pilot. There are obviously other options also available in the market like Honeycomb Alpha Flight Controls, XPC and Thrustmaster T-Flight Full Kit X which will seem to be a little on the lower end segment. Will you be buying one of these? Do let me know in the comments section. So that's it for today's video guys. If you enjoyed be sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel and do let me know in the comment section what you guys think about these stories that I've shared with you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.